Hey everyone, I'm Link here, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears, where last time we took on Shotgun, putting an end to him and his rule over Ave, as well as ending and destroying the first gate generator. Today, now that Ave has been restored to the Fatima line and turned into a republic instead of a monarchy, we're off to Babel Tower to team up with a team at Fort Jasper to destroy the second gate generator underneath the Ethos headquarters. Doc, what should we do? Look up. That is a reflection mirror. The Fort Jasper beam will be reflected off that and destroy the gate. Let us hurry to the control room while our pursuers are still gone. Yeah, let's go quickly. And while we're in here getting the mirror set up, the Yggdrasil team will head to Fort Jasper and get the gun ready. Well then, shall we go too? For Team 2, we have Billy and Bart required, Faye, Ellie, and Seatan are gone. Our choices are Choo Choo, Rico, or Maria. Sorry, Choo Choo, you bother me a lot. And Rico, you're getting the shaft. I'm sorry, but Maria is the one joining our party. Alright, they're heading out. Let's get to that mirror. If I remember correctly, the control room should be just around the corner in a pit and then through a door. I'll control the mirror. You hold off the enemy. Is it gonna be okay, Doc? We must do it. I'm counting on you. All right, let's do our part. Anyone who comes after Seatan to stop us will have to face Faye and Ellie. Billy, Billy, do you read? We are ready here. Commence firing. Already? God, Zetan, you work fast. I thought there'd be some really complicated calculations. You are Dominia? Wait, do you suppose they figured out our plan? Of course. The ancient mobile gun platform floating above Ignis. And this reflector here at Babel Tower? I know of your plan to use them together to destroy the gate generator below the Ethos headquarters. But of course I won't let you do it. For the commander's honor and the pride of the elements, you need to be more flexible. Here I come. Our enemies are Blade Gash and Marine Basher. Blade Gash is Dominia's gear that she uses regularly. Marine Basher is that fish thing down there, that swordfish. Blade Gash is going to use elemental attacks in order to do massive damage. Thankfully, neither of us have elements attached to us. I don't think we have any elemental weakness. I hope not. So we're just going to have to go for it. Ellie is going to go for... Ow! Ooh, jeez, that hurts. Ellie's going to go for the Arids. Okay, good to know. You have a counter up when you have your elemental up. So don't attack you until your element's gone. We're going to use Arids to do massive damage. I did off screen get the power magic re equipped on, uh, or finally equipped on Ellie's Virge. Maxed out the damage 9999 and they're gone. What? Power magic. 
the best the best goddamn equip in the game apparently Com combine that with our good old arids and our ether doubler ellie you're unstoppable holy shit did that just happen did we just what Let us begin our preparations. I honestly still can't believe that Ellie just fucking annihilated them in one shot. Oh, that was so beautiful. There's some time until the launch. I wonder if Seatan's okay. Radar response. From the sides there, probably gears. Talone, Talone. Oh, oh, there you are. All right already. So you were serious, you're really gonna reflect a big laser off a mirror? Pretty stupid. Inverted pull-ups are really tough, but I can do 300 pull-ups, you know. Angling it for the drop ratio? Drop ratio in the atmosphere will be huge. That's true. We're probably gonna lose quite a bit of power just punching through the atmosphere. As the air absorbs uh, some of the light, uh, some of the light energy. That's a problem. Here they come. Ah, we're so close to launching. I'm going out to return fire. Billy, you gonna be okay? I have to do it. Try to get a shot off while we hold them back. Good luck. Let me handle it. All right, attempt number two. Or, sorry, not attempt number two. Fight number two. What am I saying? Hmm, I can't believe you'd even think of such a stupid plan. Who'd have thought? Hey, never know until you try. Keep talking while you can. Dominion and Kilvana should have taken over Babel Tower by now. You get out of here now. Good. Our enemies here are Skyjean and Grand Growl. We're gonna go for Skyjean first. Thankfully, you're not doing too much to us right off the bat, but I fear that might not last. All right, set up our boosters. Since we have Bart with us, we're gonna be using Wild Smile to slow them down. Not slow them down, but make, make make them less of a threat. And let's get going. Ow! Jesus, okay, that's why we're going for Sky Gene first. It's got attacks like this. Oh, fuck you. Alright, death blows. We gotta go for death blows. Get rid of it before it gets rid of us. Alright, take a Dyna fight. Three thousand almost. Nice. Beat Serpent. Didn't get a chance to put that death blower on you, Bart. That's a shame. Alright, Sky Jean's gone. Mm. 
And given that was by far the bigger threat... Ow, oh, screw you! None of that now. But yeah, I think we're good from here. God, they can take a beating. We did almost 5,000 in one turn. Jesus, Grad Growl! They're both menaces with how much damage they can do. Alright, and they're gone. Alright, Billy C Tang, get that shot out. We need to take that we need to take down that uh, that uh that gate right now. Now Billy, shoot! Fire! Damn it! No! Whew, that was close. We did not get a direct hit. Billy, we cannot hold out much longer. If you miss this one, it is over. Aim well. I mean, he's firing over how much distance? I can't blame him. But he's got to get this next shot. I'll let you off easy this time. Next time is for real. Damn, we blew it. How long will it hold? I'm going. Alright, Billy needs time to re-aim. Let's hold him off. Alright, if this is anything like the last round, a single Arids from Ellie should do the trick. Please let this work. And I don't trust you, Blade Gash. You're gonna counter me, so I'm gonna go for the. I'm gonna go for Marine Basher. Eat Arids. Ah, hell yes. Get the hell out of here. No one likes you. We learned Terra Ghost, getting more magic abilities for Ellie now. Nice. Got a bunch of drives we can sell too. Missed. Don't worry about it. Bart. Calm down and aim. Those two are back. Of course, it's not over yet here either. Billy, you've got to get this done. We can probably hang out for... A, we can probably hold on for a few rounds, but... The longer this takes, the more trouble we're in. And they're getting a power up, it seems. Damn it. Okay, booster. Wild smile, hopefully make you miss. Hopefully make you miss some of your more powerful attacks. And let's go for it. Sky Jean, you gotta die. Like right now, please. All 
Alright, hit you with a strong attack. Maria, go for the Dyna fight. Bam! I love that. Oh, that's such a fun attack. Don't like that, though. Alright, Beat Serpent, please take it down. Okay, Sky Jean's gone. Oh no! Maria, no! God, I do not want to be on the receiving end of Dynafight. Just beat them to the ground, then shoot them in the face. That's a brutal attack. Okay, Grand Growl, you've got to be almost dead. Please be almost dead. And gotcha. Okay, Billy, you gotta make this shot. They're starting to wear us down a little bit. Go! Lamb's taste. Taste! I thought I told you to shut up. Those two did not get along. Was that close enough? Billy, you did it! The plan succeeded. Oh, thank goodness. It didn't hit the headquarters directly, but it must have hit the generator at the very least. Or at least hit close enough to knock it out. Great. Somehow it worked. Damn. Too late. What should we do, Dominia? We'll continue this later. Let's go, Kilvana. Ellie, I didn't want to be your enemy. But since our motives are different, I guess there was no choice. We'll meet again and settle things at that time. So, there's only one gate left on the surface. The problem is its location. But Queen Zephyr said there are only three on Earth and one in Solaris. According to Shotgun's report, each gate is placed in a triangle around Solaris. Let us look at the map given by the Queen, which describes the area before the gates were placed. Oh? This is how the land actually looks on the other side of the invisible barrier. So, these gates are straight up hiding significant continents, like that southeastern continent? That's not there normally. The gates should be set up somewhere here on this map. First, the Ignis Gate is here. The Ethos Headquarters in Aquavia is here, so... Well, logically thinking, the next place could be here, or... Here. One of the two. North or south, huh? Well, at least we have even chances of guessing which. 
Yeah, but Solaris is probably going to be regrouping, so we don't have a lot of time to play a guessing game. What if we try both ways? Isn't that all it takes? That would be difficult. I doubt they expected the second gate to be destroyed, so I'm sure they'll be serious next time. We'd better plan it carefully, but quickly. In any case, we will not be able to avoid Gebler's interference, will we? Doc, Ellie, where exactly is Solaris located? There's only a map of Solaris in Solaris. I didn't even know the area of this land until I arrived here. Even in Gebler? The relations with Earth are only revealed to commanders. If that's the case, even Billy's father may not know it. Josiah left there in the middle of it. Sigurd and I were smugglers and did not have the time to look out the window. On top of that, when going through the gate from Solaris, we transferred to other places by using the environmental plane between each gate. Remember when we made contact with the Kislev gate in Goliath? The same thing happens when we lose all sense of where we were before. Even if the gate divides the other space, can't you recognize its topography? Like mountains, jungles, and so on? I don't think there were mountains. More like we were surrounded by the ocean. Ocean? Then it can't be the north. This is the pole. It's all covered with snow. Then it's settled. The location of the gate is south of here. The center of the triangle is, the only, is only the ocean. If the gates are placed in the highest point in the north, the center will be the continent. Hence, it coinc uh, coincides with Ellie's story. You may be right. Wait a minute. There shouldn't be any facility over the ocean. Then, underwater? Hmm, but the whole area around here is deep. If it exists, it must be deep down. The Yggdrasil is a submarine, right? Then what's the problem? You're crazy. It's a submarine, but not a ba uh, bath escape. It's not made for uh, deep sea exploration. The water pressure would crush us instantaneously. We have a problem. We may be able to use the ba uh, bath escapes or gears used by the salvagers. Salvager? Right, that's it. The captain of the Thames must have tons of them. He owes us from last time. Let's go to the Thames. It may be our best choice for now. Shall we go to the Thames? Let's do it. One gate left, and I think we're going to take care of it in this episode. Depending on cutscenes. So there's one surface gate left. Ramses, he couldn't defend it. What is the purpose of his existence? Once trash, always trash. How much can one really expect? However, it must not be aligned before the Animus data is retrieved. You're right. There is a higher probability of not getting the proper type. As it was in the past. We can't allow the lambs to go free yet. Who cares about the gate anyways? Krellian. This can't be. The panic has spread to Etrenank. Those fools we call citizens are usually manipulated by the Emperor's words alone. You think Kane will be receptive? His body's already at the limit. He can't hold out much more. As usual, a clone may be used. Those fools won't know the difference. And even if the barrier fails, it, will, it still will not be like the disaster before. Anyhow, if I recall, there's some very intriguing data on that memory cube. And what is that? The mother. The mother? Indeed, it is probable that the mother exists among the lambs. Are you telling us our mother is somewhere else? Why didn't we notice that sooner? The sign of the mother. Her persona only appears after she reaches a certain age. There is also a high probability that she transmigrated into the Antitype. The Antitype? That woman from Nissan? Here, I would like to use that nanotechnology product, Emeralda. What, you retrieved from the Thames? Why? To be sure, as Mother says, that nanomachine colony, that artificial organism was a creation between the contact and the antitype 4,000 years ago. The Mother's memory. Yes, that is it. We can probably obtain some kind of reaction. But even if we obtain no reaction, and if Emerald is destroyed, I've already gathered all the data I need. Any loss of it will have no consequence to the plan. Actually, we are coming up on time. Thanks, cutscenes. So we'll probably have to take care of that last gate 
next time. Let's get to the teams first before we end off this episode. No, not, 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 not the menu. Let's go. Off to the Thames. Where is it? Are we stuck? There we go. Should be way off in the southwest. I see it. On the map, at least. Hello, Thames! I come to visit you. And actually, before we finish off, I also gotta make sure I swapped out the party. So we don't want we don't want Bart in our party for this. We actually want to have Ellie. As overpowered as she is, I do want her in the party for this next part. Hello there, Margie and Prim. Can I swap out? I feel kind of out of it, but the important stuff is about to begin, right? Yes, the important stuff is about to begin. We have one more gate, and then we'll be able to get to Solaris. And I think the Thames actually has new gear parts, so let's go check that out as well before we finish off. I want to get all the little maintenance things done this time. So next time we can head right into taking down the last gate. No, no, we want to go out of the ship entirely, not to the bridge. There we go. Welcome back to the Thames. It's been a while. You're still- that guy is still here. What the heck? Get off the elevator! Dude, you are so sick! You've been sitting here for days! Okay. You should be the gear shop. We got a lot of new parts. Awesome. What do you have for me? Give me some good stuff. 40 output, 5400 fuel. Absolutely taking that upgrade. Wait, 14800? Good, that is an upgrade. And there's no upgrade to our armor. Okay, we're just gonna upgrade the ones we have with us. So, Virge. And the Heimdall. Oh, no, we are already good. This is already our maximum upgrade. All right, we'll save the rest of our money for later. Probably won't be able to upgrade much else. I don't want to burn all of our money if we're not using all of our gears. I've been doing that in the past. I've been burning all my money and it's been a mistake. All right. Come on, get me out of here. Let's get up to the dock or to the deck. Get off the elevator, dude. And with that, Next time on Let's Play Xenogears. We are going to meet up with the Captain of the Thames and get access to technology that lets us go deep underwater so that we can go destroy that last gate. I will see everyone next time.